Hi guys, welcome back. Today I woke up and I wanted to have kind of like a self-care day. I wanted to do all of the things. So I had a really nice shower, shaved my body, used my fanciest lotion and my fanciest perfume. I'm feeling good, I'm smelling good. I did my hair a little bit differently. I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit nervous about it, not going to lie. We'll see what it looks like at the end when I reveal it, <laughs> I'm not sure. And today I wanted to just put on a really pretty summery makeup look that's going to last today. I don't know why I'm pulling out all the stops. It's just a random Tuesday and I just have an appointment to change my Jeep's windshield because those things crack like crazy. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I don't know. I don't know. But before we get started with the makeup, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. I wanted to share the lotion and the perfume I wore. Both products are from Le Labo in the scent Rose 31, which is my new scent. Well, it's not very new. I grew up with it around and I was reminded of the scent because I stayed at the Fairmont and this is what they have for you in the hotel rooms. So staying there reminded me of the scent and I quickly purchased them. It just smells like me, if that makes any sense. Now getting into the makeup, I'm going to start off with my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I'm going to be using the blue one today because I would like some extra hydration. I'm gonna use two pumps of that. Hold on, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a second once I spread this out. I forgot to bring you in closer. I smell too good for you guys to be that far away from me. <laughs> Another thing I forgot to mention is I did my own like DIY lash extensions. I used Lashify, which is the OG of like the under eyelash extension thing. Um, I'm testing them out. This is my first experience with them, so I'll let you know how it goes. And I'm curious to see how, how many days I can get out of these lashes and I'll see if they're a fit for me. I don't know how it's going to be with my job. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. It's a fun experiment though. Uh, but now I'm going to use some of my foundation and I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever HD Skin in the shade 1N14. And I also wanted to show you guys all the fun ways I use my Jones Road Gel Bronzer. You've already seen a few of them, but I wanted to use them all today. I've been seriously in love with these gel bronzers. I'm going to mix a little bit of the shade light into my foundation. I'm going to use one pump of my Makeup Forever and one little little pea-sized dollop of that. This is my little ratio. And then I'm going to dot that. Wow, I did not mix that very well, but that's okay. And I'm using my MAC 170 brush to blend this out. Now I'm just dabbing over with my beauty blender. I'm kind of going for like a light to medium coverage level with my foundation today. And then I can add some more coverage with my concealer if I want to, which speaking of, I'm going to be using, where did it go? Oh, here it is. My Maybelline under eye eraser in the shade 120. I kind of wanted like the golden undertone from this shade. Uh, rather than my Revolution one, which is a little bit more of a pink undertone. I wanted just to be more golden today. And I'm going to be using Huda Beauty Pound Cake to set under my eyes. Wow, not a pink powder. It's been months. <laughs> and I'm using my little Huda Beauty Powder Puff to do so. Now for my bronzer, I'm going to be doing a similar combination like I did for my foundation, but with the shade Medium from the Jones Road Gel Bronzer. If you don't have this product, you can use any liquid bronzer to achieve these techniques. And if you have the Drunk Elephant Debronzer, you can do the exact same thing. The only difference between this and the Drunk Elephant product is that the Drunk Elephant one has a little bit of a sheen to it. There's a little pearl in there that reflects light, whereas this one is just flat. I'm going to mix in a little bit of the shade medium with my foundation to achieve a bronzer tone. And I've been loving doing this because it just blends into the foundation beautifully and just adds like a kind of like an airbrushed effect. So this is my bronzer contour color and I'm going to apply this with my MAC 143S brush. And what's really nice about this is that sometimes when you add liquid 
uh, bronzer directly to your face, it can kind of lift up your foundation, whereas this one is mostly your foundation, so it's going to add even more coverage, and it's not going to do, do that thing. I think it just adds such a pretty effect to the skin and I love how cohesive it is with the foundation because it's the exact same texture and finish so it just it works so well so now I'm going to move on to blush which I'm going to be doing another very similar thing I'm going to be mixing it with the rare beauty blush in the shade grateful which is a really really vibrant red I'm gonna have like our little test patch here so this is the shade on its own and I'm going to mix in light and medium so we can see the two tonal differences. This is it mixed in with light and here it is mixed in with medium. I'm kind of liking this one for today. It's just a little bit lighter. I'm just going to take the mixture I did with the shade light and I'm going to put this on with my Rose Ink number three brush. And when it comes to bronzier blushes, I like to apply it in this kind of area, in this oval shape. Because I feel like it just looks like when I get a sunburn by accident. I'm going to take a tiny bit to just pat on my forehead. I'm just gonna take some of my brushes I was working with just to tap the edges to kind of make it look blended in. Where's that random glitter coming from? Probably from my Asian beauty video. <laughs> And I am going to add some highlighter today and I wanted something kind of exaggerated. So I'm going for my Rare Beauty highlighter in the shade Exhilarate. And I'm also going to use this as a very bright inner corner highlight. That was my vision for today. Might as well just add it while I'm here. Wow, that's different with the nails. That is why I stopped getting my nails done originally because I couldn't do my makeup properly. <laughs> so we'll see how long my nail phase lasts. Also, I got them too long the first time, that's for sure. They're driving me a little bit nuts. This base is turning out so good. I shaved my face the other day and my skin is just like not happy with me. It's kind of like, breaking out, <laughs> whatever. Um, now I'm going to add a little bit of powder. My favorite powder for the summertime is the Kosas Cloud Set because it's so airy feeling and I feel like it's pretty breathable as powders go. And this one is so easy to touch up during the day. It's the best for kind of makeup fixes or blotting. Um, adding many layers of this throughout the day never looks cakey. It always just fixes my makeup and refreshes it. It makes it look so nice and blurred. And I try to use minimal powder, especially in the summer, because I don't mind if my makeup kind of moves throughout the day. It's easier to touch up if they're mostly cream products. Um, I just use a little bit of powder to prevent me looking like an oil slick because I do have an oily T-zone. So now I'm going to prime my lids and do my brows, so please enjoy the brow intermission. Actually, before I do my brows, I wanted to add a little bit of setting spray and I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This one's amazing at keeping your makeup on all day. Whenever I use setting sprays in my videos, when I'm editing the footage, I'm like, damn girl, that's enough. But every time I use it, I just get caught in the moment and it feels so nice. Now I will be back. So since I'm having kind of like a treat myself day. I'm gonna treat myself to this palette finally. <laughs> this is a Florisys palette. I don't know which one it is. It's so gorgeous. And these shades feel a little different than other Florisys palettes I've used. The shimmers in here feel very, very, very creamy and gorgeous. So 
I'm going to go for something very simple. I'm not going to go all out. So I'm taking a wash of this color down here with this Refer 27 brush, kind of in the crease and on the outer corner. I'm taking this MAC 219S brush to kind of pat this on my outer corner. And I'm going to add some depth with the dark brown in this palette right over here. And I'm going to put that mixture on my lower lashes too, but just kind of on the outer third. And I want to use this middle glittery shade, which looks so pretty and summery to me. I just put it on a weird finger. Why am I doing that? I think that's all I want to do. I'll add a little bit of mascara here in a bit, but I'm going to do that same shadow look on this eye. And for my lower lash mascara, I'm going to be using my Romand uh, mascara in the shade Long Hazel. Um, I wasn't prepared for how freaking life-proof this mascara was the other day. It's not just like waterproof, it's like it's on there permanently. So I definitely had a struggle uh, washing it off, but I'm gonna try my actual eye makeup remover tonight for this. <laughs> but yeah, I was not prepared. But I'm using a brown mascara because I wanted kind of a softer definition to my bottom lashes here. And here are the eyes all done. I'll also put on screen the style of lash Shify lashes I used because um, I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. But I like it. Very soft, summery, glowy vibes. Okay, so now for my lips, I've got a few options as always. Um, so I have some of my Romand uh, products here and some Florsis ones as well. This is the Florsis Dew and Jade Like Glowing Lip Gloss. This is the shade G403. This is the same formula in the shade G401. Oh, that's really nice, but I think not for today. It's a little too pinky. Is it? Maybe not. And then I have my Romand Juicy Lasting Tint in the shade Fig Fig. My God, that smells good. And then the Glasting Water Tint in the shade Rose Stream. I feel like these would all be fantastic matches to this makeup look, so help. <laughs> God, that smells so good too. Let's start off with lip liner first, shall we? I'm going to be using my Tower 28 One Liner in the shade Work of Art. I just wanted to see what these stains look like. Oh, these ones stain too, cool. Um, I feel like this one's undertone kind of suits the blush the best. These might be a little too beigey for what I was wanting. I wanted a little bit of a pop. What shade was that? I'm gonna have to look at the footage now. I forgot. I put them on my desk weird. <laughs> it was the Glasting Water Tint in Rose Stream. <laughs> I think this is a fun one for today. I'm just gonna add like a little few dots and then I'm gonna blend it up. Okay, maybe a little bit more. Oh, I caught that so good. It almost got on my cute little robe. <laughs> Help, why was that such a hard word to find in my brain? That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted with the blush. And here is the makeup all done. I love it. I feels so cute. This is exactly what I was hoping and envisioning for my face today. So now let's um, undo the hair. We'll see how this goes. I know I'm gonna have to like touch up the front because I didn't have enough clips, but here we go. Wowza, okay, that's a lot of volume. I 
I know it's going to fall throughout the day, so I don't wanna flatten it too much. I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil. My favorite is the Devoness Oi Oil. Phenom. Crazy. <laughs> I kind of am living for it though. Oh, this lip combo is so good. I love what I did today. I love, love everything I did today. And here is my finished makeup look and my finished hair look. Let me know if you'd like to see a video on this. Maybe I could do like a little shorts. Uh, I feel like I need to like perfect the technique because some curls are going the wrong way. But yeah, let me know. <laughs> it's kind of like a fun blowout look using a curling iron. But that's going to be it for me. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I will link everything I used in today's video in the description down below. So feel free to check that out. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.